Hi guys, it's Kim and this is my January wrap up. Um, today I'm just gonna talk about all the books I read in January and yeah, that's about it. I posted a January wrap up at the beginning of the month and um, I plan to read six books this month. I read five of those, one I one of those I didn't read, but I read two I didn't have on my TBR and I also started another two that I didn't have on my TBR. So yeah, um, if I look down a little bit or anything, um, don't be surprised, I have my little bookish traveler's notebook insert right here where I have a list of all the books I read and I'm also going to talk in the, about the books in the order of when I started them because that's the order I wrote them down. This isn't the order like of my favorites or the, even the order I finished them in but just the order I started them, started them in. So yeah. Um, the first book I read this month was um, Tom Clancy's Net Force by Steve Perry and um, the first of the Tom Clancy's Net Force novels by Steve Perry. I gave this book a 3 star rating and I posted a review about it on my Goodreads as well as on my blog so if you want to know more about it you can visit um, those two sites and check it out. So and then we are with the first book that I didn't actually read um, that I wanted to read or plan to read which is the second Tom Clancy's Net Force Mafia. Net Force Mafia? No, Net Force. Net Force. It's Net Force. And um, the German title is Inter Mafia, so Mafia, whatever. But um, yeah, as I said, I planned to read the second of the Net Force books, um, but I didn't. That's because um, while it was the first book I started in 2017 or in January, it was, I think, the last book I finished because, as I said, I had some problems with it and I kind of stopped reading and started reading other books in the meantime. So I only just finished it like on the last days of um, January so I didn't really um, get around to starting the second book and I also don't really plan on reading it um, in February. I do plan on reading it at some point because as I said I had problems with the book but I still overall like the story, like the plot and most importantly I really like the, the genre. So I do plan on finishing the whole series at some point but just not right now. The second book I read uh, was Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscolo and this was a solid 5 out of 5 stars book. Um, also I have a review on this on my Goodreads. I don't have one on my blog because I started my blog after um, having finished the book. But I really really loved this book. You probably all know what it's about. So as I said I am planning or I'm not sure if I said it but I am planning on filming a review of this book because I really want to talk about it and it's going to be part spoiler free and part spoilery because I really want to discuss the outcome. I really want to discuss who Jack the Ripper is because I think I, it was a really great plot twist. I didn't see it coming um, but yeah I, I really liked it and I gave this book five stars and yeah it just I really loved it. The next book I read wasn't actually on my TBR and it's The Crown Conspiracy by Michael J. Sullivan. It's the first book in the Ruria Revelations. I'm sorry if I just butchered that. I have no idea how to pronounce that. And it is about two thieves that um, are framed for the murder of the king and the abduction of the king's son or the new king, whatever. Prince King. He is the king now, but he used to be the prince, obviously, which, yeah, you know what I mean. Um, I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars. It is a high fantasy, as you might have already guessed by what I just said. I posted a review about this book on my Goodreads page, not on my blog because I didn't have my blog then, but if you want to know more than what I'm about to tell you, you can check out Goodreads. So, as I said, two thieves, a king, abduction. So, um, they obviously have to work on clearing their name, making sure um, the new king especially doesn't believe they killed his father and then also helping this new king take back his kingdom. I really, really liked it. I really liked the world building. I liked um, the whole world itself and also I really liked the plot. Then. Um, the next book as well is not one that I had on my TBR and it's We Should All Be Feminist by Chimanda Nagosi Adichie. And it's not really a book, it's more of an essay, it's only about 50, 52 or maybe even 60 pages, I'm not sure right now. And um, in this 
essay, the author writes about her own experiences with feminism and also with how women are treated in her um, in her country and just about her experiences. And I think everyone should read this. I rated it five stars as well. And it just, um, I think it makes you think about the way you act yourself and about the world in general. And I think it's it's a really good book. So I think everyone should read it. And yeah, I don't really know what more to say. I didn't write a review about this because it's kind of, I don't know what to say about non-fiction books. And I, I don't know, I just, I tell you everyone read this book and yeah. Just, just read it. Don't listen to my talking weird things and whatever. Just, just read the essay. That's all I have to say about it. The, the next book was actually on my TBR and it's Of Fire and Stars by Audrey Coulthurst. So this book, um, I rated a three stars. And again, if you're more interested in what I thought about it, you can check my Goodreads page as well as my blog because about this one I also have a review on, up on my blog and just with Stalking Check the Ripper I plan on filming a review and uploading it to YouTube. And this month I also listened to two audiobooks which I had on my TBR and they were Air of Fire and Queen of Shadows. And I gave both of them a 5 star rating. I'm not going to talk about them because they're the third and the fourth um, part in a series, in the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Maas, in case you've been living on a rock and don't know. And yeah, if I was going to say anything about this, I would spoil you for the first book, so I'm not going to. Yeah, and that's it. <laughs> no, um, I also read two other books, or I started two other books. Both of them I got off of NetGalley and both of them are German books. They do not have a uh, English translation yet, so I'm Sorry about that, but I just, I want to mention them quickly as well. The first one is Die Feuerheilerin by Ursula Neb. It's um, a historical fiction. I think I finished it this week, so you'll probably hear, hear more about it in my February wrap In my February wrap up. Some words I'm just having trouble with and I don't know why. So the last book I want to talk about, um, again, as I said, it's a German book that is not available in English. It is called Fairies Kristallblau, which directly translated would mean Fairies Crystal Blue, and it is by Stephanie Dehm. I also got this book off of NetGalley, which is the only reason I have not DNF'd it. I'm 30% into the book, 13% into the book, and I just don't like it at all. It is about this girl, um, a German girl who has just finished high school and is with two of her friends in either Mallorca or Lorette de Mar. I'm not sure which it is. And for those of you who aren't from Europe, Mallorca is an island and um, an island that um, belongs to Spain. And Lorette de Mar is a city in Spain, I think. It's a, it's a city or a region. No, it's a city. I'm, I'm sorry. Everyone who is from Europe will probably think like why do you not know this because those two spots or more exactly like a part of Mallorca not all of Mallorca but a part of Mallorca um, are the spring break destinations like we don't really do spring break here in Germany or I think in Europe in general but um, during summer break um, most everyone who is 16 years and up goes there during vacation and um, after graduating from high school and whatever it's just the place where you go and once you come home you don't remember anything because you spend all your time all your time drinking and clubbing and laying on the beach drinking some more that's pretty much it so um, they go there again which is nothing special it's pretty normal because almost everyone does it and um, there she meets these people who tell her she's a fairy. So I'm not spoiling anything. As I said, I'm only 13% 13, 13 into it. This just happens right at the beginning. And um, yeah, they tell her she's a fairy and they also tell, tell her everything that invo that's involved in being a fairy. Yeah, and then that's it. So like they, I don't know, I just, I don't feel, I don't, I don't feel like there's any world building because 
they just they take her sit her down and tell her everything and to me this this just seems like a very easy way out it's a very easy way to um not have to do any world building at all and it kind of takes the point away of reading this book I feel like because right now I don't see why I should read it I already know everything about this world there is to know at least that's what it feels like maybe there's going to be some awesome world building later on but so far there's nothing that makes me want to continue reading there's nothing that is a mystery or or anything I don't know about so I'm really just like why should I continue reading? It's just, I don't know. And I'm really sad because I think this is a debut novel. So yeah, that's it for my wrap up. I know a lot of the stuff I talked about probably doesn't really make a lot of sense. I just talked and talked and I hope this video isn't going to be endless. And if you see this outro and the video is only like seven minutes and you think like, what is she talking about? All of this made sense and it was just facts and she didn't talk a lot. Then, you know, I cut out like so much of this video, but I'm trying not to. I really want to leave all my rambling in there. Obviously, I will cut it down because I feel like this video is 30 minutes long and nobody wants to see a 30 minutes long video but i do i want to keep my rambling in there because it's part of my opinion and whatever so yeah whatever i'm just gonna go now if you like this video i would really really much really really much appreciate it yes i would really appreciate appreciate it very much if you would subscribe and give me a thumbs up and even more so than anything else i appreciate every comment that you leave me so we can get to know each other and discuss anything i talked about or anything you want to talk about it you want to talk about or whatever and i really need to stop because my english is deteriorating deteriorating rapidly and i should stop now so let me know if you've read any of these books, if you want to read any of these books or just in general what you read in January. So bye!